Today, we are talking very briefly about Reeboks. Yes, because in just about six days ago, if I don't go wrong, Revax, contemporary Revax, has announced a new reel-to-reel -reel recorder, a reel-to-reel -reel machine. But more specifically, they announced the Revax B77 Mark III. While I'm sure of most of you know the famous B77 Mark II, I also had one in the past. I sold it, I did not like it. I do not understand its fame, I must admit, but it is versatile, it does have a lot of functions, it's a prosumer type of deck, so I do understand that you're really close to a professional one, the top of the tops. You're, you're nearby. Uh, but apart from that, uh, actually I also did recently a video on those who want to approach reel to reel and are looking for a new type of machine. Here is a link. You're also going to find the, the links in the video description. But today I want to do practically a comment on this. I, uh, my first reflections, my first thoughts, because I just went online and took a look at what they're saying. So clearly I have no experience. I have nothing more to say than what I've saw on the website. And I see a big problem here. But before saying that, talking about that, I want to say that this is something great. I mean, it's a positive aspect that somebody is trying to put out a new machine. Absolutely. It's very hard, so you have all my sympathy. It's very difficult to, to find the pieces, to keep the price down. Nevertheless, this operation does not convince me, okay? Once again. This is just my first impression. I don't know, I haven't seen the machine, I haven't listened to it. But there are a few elements that are disturbing me. Now, first of all, we don't have a new machine, okay? They tried, they tried a few years ago. I don't know if you remember, around 2017, here is an image, they tried to release something, but in the end, they, they, they weren't able to, to, to make it. I don't know why. Uh, maybe someone knows, please write it in the comments. I have no idea. Most probably, I think, because it was too expensive, too difficult, and they just uh, pushed it away. And then they probably decided to do this other operation. In fact, they are using old machines and they are refurbishing them, changing a lot of electronics also inside, okay? It's not just the same machine with a, with a Mark III on it, clearly, no. But there's lots of components inside that are part of the old machine. Even the chassis, I would say the chassis is probably the first one. Uh, they added a digital counter, uh, the possible of a double equalization, XL, XLR. Uh, I mean, there are some upgraded features which are very interested. But it's the same machine, okay? It's not a true Mark III done by scratch, everything new. No, it's a Frankenstein, okay? It's a mixed bag of old and new. And the price, everything would be okay if the price was really down, really low. Once again, I know these things are extremely expensive. I perfectly understand. But unfortunately, if you're choosing not to do something from scratch, I don't think you can ask for 15,000. No, actually it's almost 16,000 euro, meaning more than $17,000. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot of money. Also because for that price, you can get a top-notch professional Studer machine, not Revox, Studer meaning an A80 or even on like mine, A810 or even other ones. I mean, with that kind of money, you can buy that and have a lot of money remaining to buy tapes and things like that. Also the tapes that are presenting on the site, someone thought it was everything new. No, a lot of those are clearly coming from Horch House. We, we know that. Uh, so the whole operation, unfortunately, does not once again, seem the ideal. 
on the, 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 the specs, the features on, on one side, and obviously uh, this huge price. So both things just dr makes me, my enthusiasm drop dead on the floor. Okay, let me know what you think and if you, if you intend to buy it, if you're interested, if you want to try to listen to it, if you know other machines are, that are coming out, you never know. You people know much more than me. Thank you again for watching and remember that music is born analog.